Oh my goodness, yes, we found out about the iPads very soon before school started. So on the first day of class, I handed the students the syllabus, and then I told them they would not receive another piece of paper from me. That's been great because I never have to worry about assignments left on the ground. I don't have to worry about them getting the information. I can post real-time information if there needs to be a correction. It happens. I can post videos, audio, things that I could not just hand out everyone a cassette tape or a CD. So it's, it's, it's really great. And we document. Uh, one of the new things I just found out this semester with the iPad, I take pictures of sketchbook pages instantly. So I look at all the students' sketchbooks, and then we can get on with class instead of having to get bogged down, and then we can reference them later. It's more of a, a dynamic uh, and real-time evaluation of the work. The iPad really enabled us to collect information, edit information, organize information, and then present and communicate information in a single stream. And then that way, uh, by the end of class, we were already having our presentation. So we could go through the entire creative process within that class time, and that was great. They could do stop animation, present right then. So 10 minutes, um, a second after finishing their stop animation, they could present to me. They could record sound. They could record images. They could um, write and record sound at the same time. It was a, they could organize those images into presentations, and then we could talk about them that afternoon. Normally, I would stop class, and I'd have to get the projector, and I would Google, and I would show what we want, I wanted to show everybody. So I still had that real time, but it was clunkier. Now we could be in a different room or even outside, and we can have that group collaborative kind of experience. So they don't know the world before iPad. Now, they don't know college, but pre-iPad. They uh, record lectures. They take notes on their iPad. They, they type on the iPad. They send me emails on the iPad. They send photos of their projects. It's so fluid to, for a student that's working at home, snap a picture of their project, click a button, email it to me, then I write back and I'm seeing their project and I don't have to have an office visit. We can communicate that way. In art school, critique is an important part of the, the creative process, getting that feedback. And when we present works, a lot of times it's very static. Students use the iPad uh, during the charrette course to recreate environments. So students use two iPads recorded in separate places on the street, then could bring those iPads back and place them in the environment, and they would be a stereo sound that we could then be inside on both sides. So we then were standing in the middle of the street, yet in the classroom. So we could create, critique ephemeral work through the implementation of the iPad. I, I, could, I could teach without the iPad, uh, but it enhances the education. I can teach with a piece of chalk. Does that mean you should? No, I think well, you should use any tool. Uh, the iPad is like a hammer, and if used properly, it builds a better house. If used improperly, it can degrade the education. So I think we still need that human touch no matter what technology or machine we're using.